for sea creatures that live on a reef like this, water, or its lack, gives them many problems. It's alright when the reef's covered the way it is now because they can move around on it and reproduce and eat. The tide goes out twice a day and it leaves them stranded. The sun may come out and bake them and turn the water in the rock pools very salty, or the rains may come and make that water very dilute. In any event, the tide comes back twice a day and they get a terrific pounding and buffeting from the waves. Well, how do they cope with all that? Because a lot of them are very fragile animals. Let's go down and have a look. Seaweed provides food and shelter for many animals, like this sea slug, that remain where the water is deep. Others are permanently anchored underwater. These are minute polyps, and millions of them will leave their rock-like skeletons as coral. This is a sea squid, attached to a rock. Some animals swim in and out with the tide, while others, like crabs, can move around above the water level, carrying water under their tough coats. Tough coverings protect animals from enemies too, and the sea star is covered with spines. It moves slowly but seeks out pools where it creeps and grips on the rocky bottom with tiny suckers, themselves water-filled. But other animals can't move and they shelter in cracks and hollows, the last places to dry out. Anemones shelter there, and so do mussels. Like the mussels, other animals can't or don't move when the water leaves them. Barnacles are cemented to the rocks and they hold seawater in behind a bony door. The limpet holds on so tightly that water is sealed between its shell and the rock. The chitin grips hard too, and seaweed grows on its back, keeping it moist. These animals are streamlined, and when the tide rushes in, it slips smoothly over them. Underwater once more, they can continue their activities until the tide goes out again. <laughs> 